December 7th, a little bit before 8 a.m. in the morning, 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Folks, before we get into this, remember this video, the attack on Pearl Harbor. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and ring the bell. Give this video a thumbs up and share it out. And salute to all our veterans. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military strike by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service upon the United States against a naval base at Pearl Harbor in Honolulu, Hawaii, just before 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, December 7, 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, bringing us into World War II. Americans on Monday will honor the 79th anniversary of the Japan, Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. The surprise raid on the major U.S. Navy base near Honolulu killed more than 2,400 Americans and left another 1,100 injured. In short, the strike signaled the entry of the United States into the World War II. According to the National Park Service Congress, designated December 7th as a National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day in August 1994. This year, due to the coronavirus pandemic, a small intimate gathering of veterans will be held at Pearl Harbor Visiting Center, though it is closed to the public. What happened during the attack on Pearl Harbor? Just before 8 a.m. on Sunday, December 7, 1941, hundreds of Japanese planes made the surprise raid on Pearl Harbor during the attack which was launched from aircraft carriers. Nearly 20 Americans' naval vessels, including eight battleships, were damaged or destroyed, as well as more than 300 aircraft. A lot of these were Japanese kamikazes. They actually would fly their planes right into the ship, killing them and whoever else they could. It's a pretty bad attack on our country. The official American death toll was 2,403, according to the Pearl Harbor Visiting Bureau, including 2,008 Navy personnel, 109 Marines, 218 Army service members, and 68 civilians of the U.S. dead. 1,177 were from the USS Arizona, the wreckage of which now serves as the main memorial in the incident. 55 Japanese soldiers also were killed. So a lot of servicemen passed away at one time. The total number of wounded was 1,143, 710 Navy, 69 Marines, 364 Army, and 103 civilians, the Visitor Bureau says. Pearl Harbor reversed that in a day with Congress issuing a declaration of war after Roosevelt's speech on December 8, 1941. Instead, in order to protect your Pearl Harbor survivors and World War II veterans, the main ceremony will be a sole event and it will be closed to the public. I had some family members, uncles that actually served in World War II and a grandfather that served in World War II. Thank you to all your veterans and we'll have here a moment of silence for the folks that didn't survive this attack. Thank you for watching. Take care and be safe out there, folks.